Okay, we're back. We're back. AMS 2. Uh, we're just going for um, eye candy, force feedback candy. Spielberg historic with the uh, Formula Juniors. And without further ado, four laps. Here we go. Okay, we're starting on the damp track. So we should see a transition into a dry line as the race goes on. And we're at sunset, uh, which I think on this is about six o'clock, something like that. These Formula Juniors just give you so much feedback, it's ridiculous. And they come uh, equipped with all weather tyres, so it doesn't matter what's going on on the track. You're going to have grip of, of, a, of a type. But you can just put these things on the balance so easily AI's right got me a bit snookered here just watch the uh, guys dry shaft spinning little blips on the downshift just to keep it smooth while it's a bit wet no dry line yet. It's only lap one. Left side. Oh, okay. But just, just locked a little bit for me there. Okay, we've got a bit of shadow here, so we can see again. <laughs> Just balancing that back end as we go around here. Apex is a bit blind over the rise. Got in it. Cars are now settling down. So now we're, we're kind of in the group that we're racing here. I can see the leader up there anyway. AI's on that 100. Second. All the way, are we? Up off the third end up part of the uh, barrier right. that uh, lost me a bit of ground yeah, yeah. I scooted right. past me right. Hold your line. Uh, let's get a good Clear drive right. out of here nice wide corner that one not really a lot to be had from the draft of these don't exactly have a big footprint on the uh, in the air. Uh, that's close out. To back out of that one. We'll have you, number nine. Try and get this maroon guy. Yeah, he's trying to come across and cut again. Less spray now. The uh, the track's drying up. Speed should increase with the increased grip. We'll have to back off here. Out to third, out to second. Again, that back just, just locking slightly. Need to get on the inside here for this little camber and punch it out the corner. Again, a little twitch from the rear. Need to give it more blip. Back. Just the race. Oh, just touched the grass. Touched the grass there. Still there. Come on, AI. That was a bit sneaky. Okay, I backed up a little less than he did. Break a bit later. Ooh, locking it third. I'm not getting our uh, blips on the downshift. The throttle response isn't great. And again, we're not dealing with a huge engine. I've gone for third again, but kind of got it. Just 
can't beat AMS 2 for, for little little stuff like this it throws in little combinations the eye candy in VR and flat is uh, something else throwing some good AI and uh, what more do you want yes I know three sandwiches and a can of coke that's what you want It. Nice little slip angle going on there. Be a bit more speed coming out, nowhere to go. Do we try and get through the middle? Do I? Not enough room. Up to top. Just four gears to worry about. Okay. Yeah, somebody having a look there. Bigger blip this time. Thank you. Slow down the gear change and let the revs come up on the blip. Somebody trying to go around the outside there. Left side. Line. Big blip down to second. He's found a bit of wet still I'm in the dry bit. Okay, the next car is a bit of rain coming back in. That is more than a slip angle, but we'll take it. Just a dab of brakes just to get that back end, just to sit out a little bit. Okay, so one thing that you may not realise is when you put the AI up to 100% and above, the AI will tune their car so when you go in like I do with a flat car i.e. no tune on it the AI's got a bit of an advantage so 99% or whatever if you don't want it uh, don't want your car to go a bit slower than the AI not a problem though ok more water accumulating we're getting big rooster tails kicking up here you can see what side of the track is right. wet now. Right. The uh, rooster tails. Right. Somebody trying to get up the inside, we're not having that. I have to back out. Right. Very wet up here. Yeah, we're starting to get uh, pooling water on the track now. Didn't say much for it to wet up, but it did start damp. Side. Okay, back start to uh, kick a bit on the downshift. Do me, just get the slip going in. It's a third. All the way up. This one has got an adverse camber, so when you get stuck on the outside like this, you really have to back off. You can see a bit of a dry line, I'm just coming into it now. Here we go. I think this is the last lap. So yeah, if you've not tried it, um, good combination. These cars are just good anywhere, to be honest. On your left, you're in the middle, three wide. Clear right. On your left. No, you're not Clear taking right. me on the outside. There's the dry line, I'm in it. Alright, thanks for watching. Just a quick one. Got some weird and wonderful stuff coming up this weekend. Still there. If I can find me aerials. Hint, hint. Adios.